yum 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 Welcome to the Riverside Restaurant and Lounge on the beautiful southern shore between Torres Cove and Calvert next to the Atlantic Ocean nestled alongside the North River, hence the name Riverside. And inside the restaurant, it's all decked out for Patty's Day. And today, everybody is Irish, <laughs> especially us. Hello, welcome to One Chef, One Critic. I'm Carl Wells, restaurant critic for The Telegram. And I'm Chef Steve Watson, the Central. There is. Steve, it's great to be here. You know, the Hayden family's been operating this restaurant here in Cape Royal for almost 40 years. And I don't know of any other restaurant that's been around that long, Carl. And out in the lounge, have you seen the lounge? All the hats in there. Oh, my goodness. They have 3,000 ball caps uh, stapled to the ceiling in the lounge here, which have been left by uh, various customers over the years. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> Quite a sight. Anyway, we've got a great Paddy's Day show going today. We have a wonderful guest. Mm -hmm. We have Con O'Brien again from the Southern Shore, and I'm going to be preparing a beautiful fresh roast leg of lamb with all the trimmings. And uh, there's a guy with whoa. Irish blood in his veins. And we're also going to be uh, going to Coleman Supermarket today to the bakery department specifically, where I'm going to learn how to decorate a cake. Because I already know Cal. Yes, I know you yeah, do, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that should be fun as well. Uh, St. Patrick's Day cake today. Anyway, let's talk about our food. This is a beautiful seafood chowder that features cod and scallops, some shrimp that's cream-based. It's got some uh, fresh parsley on top there, some red peppers. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I've got an amazing chef salad here, here chef salad for the chef, uh, with some freshly roasted turkey, here, an array of fresh vegetables, some cheese, with a trio of dressings to go with it as well. And we've got some beautiful rolls here with some fresh butter. And I think it's time we started our engines and got our St. Patrick's Day show going. Very nice. Mm. Here's a tip that I give people. If you want a heads up on what a restaurant menu is like, just try Googling them, and quite often they have a website and you can get the menu online. Or try the yellow pages. Good idea. Well, it's Irish Week on One Chef, One Critic, and we have with us today the original Irish descendant. Well, actually not the original Irish descendant, <laughs> literally, <laughs> but of one of the original founding members of the group, the Irish Descendants. He hails from Bay Bulls on the southern shore, and he is Con O'Brien. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Carl. Nice to be here. It's great Thanks to have you. Perfect. Perfect, Especially Con. this week, Con. Well, you know, with those Irish it. roots and all. <laughs> and uh, Steve is doing a, a, a quintessential Irish dish for you today. He doesn't have Aren't an Irish you? accent, though. No, 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 I know. But I'm wearing but green. I've got his, green all over me. You know, so yeah. I'm trying to be a yeah. convert, you know. But so. everybody is Irish this week, Con. <laughs> so thank, thank God for that, Con. We're all thank Irish this week. Anyway, Con, what I'm going to make for you today is a beautiful roast leg of lamb. And I've got it from one of your friends down the southern shore, I believe. Maury's, you know. so. Oh, Howard Warren, yes. Yes, indeed. so we've got this beautiful leg of lamb. And what got, there's a lot of flavor, actually, in the in the fat itself. So I'm not going to add a lot to it. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pierce it a little bit with some things like this. And, of course, Ireland is famous for its lamb. Oh, yes. And its potatoes. And its potatoes. And we're going to be serving that, actually, with, like you say, Carl, with some potatoes. Ooh, and with some, good, uh, yeah. uh, we've, we've, got, we've got some Brussels sprouts as well, which is very indigenous to the British Isles. So... Uh, there we go, we'll just get a little bit of cutting here. Con, was your mom a good cook? Oh, yes. Well, yeah. all, everybody up in the house, but we're all big bone men, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so food was good. You needed fuel. <laughs> uh, we've grown up in a fish plant, we always ate a lot That's of fish. So oh, yeah. It was, it was, yeah. Uh, well, they eat a lot of seafood in Ireland, too. Oh, sure, of course. Oh, yes. yeah. It's a, it's a big deal for, uh, for the Irish this time of the year now to have uh, things like this. And so, what, what were some of the favorite dishes that your mom cooked? Oh, well, the regulars. I mean, we, uh, in our house, we had fish four times a week, so it was some sort of codfish served various different ways. But I mean, the old favorites for me, a pad of live fish and oh, yeah. fish stew. Saltfish yeah. is still a big part of my life. And so I'm just sprinkling some rosemary over there as well. I hope she doesn't mind it. No, no, she won't mind it. <laughs> Got, and then we'll just season it with some nice salt and pepper. You oh. punctured some uh, holes there for these garlic cloves. Garlic cloves in there, yeah. that's correct. Oh, 
So that's basically it. I've maybe add just a little bit of water into, into the roast itself, but a roast like this is only going to be taking maybe about an hour and a half to cook because we want to keep it rosé, which is just a little bit like medium red. Well, I don't really want to cook it over, don't you? You don't have to overcook the lamb? No, 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 no. no I'd, I'd certainly keep that medium red. That would be beautiful then. So. And that, that's one of the great matches too, rosemary and lamb. Lamb. Yeah. That's, that's they're, they're the flames are really so well. going to come through. Yeah. And then with our, with our au jus, we're going to be adding some meat to it. So Carly, if I just let you lay that on that side. Okay. And we're going to get the Brussels sprouts ready. But what I've got here, Connie, some beautiful slab bacon, as you're going to see that. Mm. And we're going to cut that into some uh, lardons or some strips there. How many different kinds of bacon do we have around here, uh, Steve? Um, well, there's, there's, of course, there's a slab bacon. Of course, we're known for our, our streaky bacon. And then we have our pea meal bacon. A lot of that is coming out of Ontario. So, mm, it's uh, lovely too, isn't it? It yeah. is, yeah. It's very lean and things like that. So, I haven't seen too much of the... Uh, the, the, the British bacon here, which is or, or the Irish bacon. The Irish bacon and yeah, the Irish which, sausage. It is, yeah. yeah I know there's uh, some Irish sausage in St. John's that come gets made at holidays. Really? Oh, really? Market, and it's a special for, for an Irish, one of the Irish doctors. And uh, they're quite good. I've had them. One of the things when you go to Ireland, that's, that's what you'll find. It's sausage and the bacon is... That's a good point, Superior. you know, because a lot of people, they're so used to going into the supermarket and finding things in wrapped up in cellophane, <laughs> yeah. uh, they forget that, you know, uh, a lot of the butchers can be very accommodating. Oh, my God. And it's only a matter of just uh, ringing the bell or Bring going to a place like Calaves and just tell, them what, tell them what you want. Every other day, I, go, I live around the corner from them, and every other day, there's someone comes in with, a, uh, with, with their stuffing for the crown roast. That's I'll right. I'll bring I'll the stuff around oh, the, sure, no the bacon there. And well, I love uh, salt pork, burnt pe pork, and uh, and uh, burnt fat and salt is my yeah. favorite. This smells. This is starting to smell really good now. <laughs> I love uh, I love the smell of frying bacon. And I'm going to put someone some into the as well. Oh, so someone asked me if I was hungry, and I, I'm I'm perpetually hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, always ready to sit down and uh, have a meal. So you're going to brown these up, Chef? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. And then we're going to add our Brussels sprouts to it at the last minute. So it's really going to add some flavour. And it's nice and chunky, some boldness to the plate. So. And what I've got here is some wedged potatoes. Oh, yeah. These are nice uh, baby reds that I've, that I've put up. Yeah. And um, I'm going to add some seasoning to that, and a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of uh, olive oil. And Carl, if you can pass me that frying pan over there, that would be great. We've got the cast iron pan. Yeah, that one will put on there. Some parmesan. And I'm not going to be shy with the salt and pepper. Mm. I want all the natural flavours to come out of all the vegetables. And You're falling down on the job down. here. Sorry, no, sorry sir. I'll take care of it. Take your, take your, take your spatula and do your, do your work. You, you, you're telling me you like to cook. What are some of the special things that you like? Uh, I cook a lot. Uh, I love, I love fish. Again, fish is my favourite thing. Being from the southern shore, from the southern else. shore, I, 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 my, I, I have. Uh, Oh, when I was a child, a young man, the Portuguese vessels used to come to Bay Bulls and my family was doing business with them. Oh, really? So yeah. I used to have uh, floating restaurants all summer long yeah. tied onto the wharf in Bay Bulls, and we were young men and exploring these new flavors. And, so they'd uh, invite you on? Oh, uh, yes. And, uh, I, I, actually, meal. I actually sailed on one, a, a couple of them. And, well, uh, is that one of the white fleet? Yeah, that what it would yeah be she then? was called yeah. the Jose Casal, or they used to call her the love boat in Bay Bulls. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, it was, a, it was a great experience because, I mean, we here we are people that certainly eat an awful lot of salt fish and the Portuguese have a, have a dish for every day of the year, so it's... Well, it's, it's, it's Portugal and Spain, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different recipes That's for right. salt fish. You go to Portugal and you'll see just salt fish restaurants. And you'll yeah. see just shops, but nothing else on the shops. That's fishing. right. Yeah. And you can't you can't get it in a restaurant here, <laughs> you, <laughs> which is kind of strange. But yeah, uh, you'll get a fish cake, yeah. but you won't get a piece. We've made piece so of salt much. Fish. I mean, we've made so much salt fish over the years. You would think that uh, it would be the same here. I guess I guess it was. Uh, we were. That's all we had to eat. So maybe we're, we're sick of yeah. it. That's right. So, Con, what I'll do now is just add the Brussels sprouts to it. Give them a toss up. Go. Yep. Actually, we were quite fussy about what seafood we ate here because when I was growing up, you ate cod and, right. and practically nothing else. That's right. Uh, you That's know, whereas other cultures, they, they I mean, ate everything. That's right. Well, I, I yeah. know. But there was a time here when people wouldn't eat lobster. No, they'd fertilize the garden. Fertilize the garden. Right. 
Uh, yeah, you know, I say I take codfish for granted. I mean, it's something that you know, I can't eat salmon every day, but I can eat codfish yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, although we're talking, we should be talking about the lamb, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Getting it. Fish is getting an extra, extra now, I'm talking about the lamb, we've got our gravy going there now, our au jus uh, yep. to the side there. And I'm going to get you to put, I, I like putting the mint sauce actually into the gravy itself. Oh, that's a good so. idea, yeah. Um, so you, how much of this do I put in? About half of it. You know, don't, don't okay. be shy with it. Don't be shy. Khan, uh, you've got dinner theatre going down in Bay Bulls in the summertime. Yes, we've had in the last couple of years, we've been doing uh, up to uh, my cousin's show and I only have the, the Whale and Burn tours. Right. And we've been doing dinner thing there all for the last, well, they've been doing it for the last number of years, but I've been involved with it for the last two, couple of years. And now, do, you, do you perform at the dinner theater? Yes, I, I, I perform in it. Uh, I, wrote, I write them. Uh, oh, really? And put them together. And uh, we've had some wonderful local actors in it. Um, Brian O'Day, who's, who has become my uncle, Gus Brian. And uh, yeah. we, we sort of, the first year was, was just Brian doing a one man show with music. And last year we brought in Dolores Hines from uh, from up in Calvert, who was uh, locally very well known locally and very very talented. Mm. So uh, again, come through power of TV. The lamb is ready. So I'm just going oh. to the lamb is ready. ready. The lamb is ready. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Thank God for the power of TV. Yeah. Right oh my gosh! So we'll bring this one out there. Look, nice, yeah. beautiful leg of lamb. Okay. Now, what are you guys going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if you're hungry again, you know. I'll give you a little bit of milk for the car. <laughs> and we have oh, our potatoes as well. Oh. So now they look now that they look beautiful. Oh my I gosh! I think between the potatoes, the lamb, and our come, come back here, Carl. Uh, Carl, I'm sorry, and uh, our green vegetables. You know, uh, famous for the British Isles and Ireland. You know, I think. Did, did you blanch these before? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. I, I, again, I like my vegetables just a little bit cooked al dente. Yeah. You know that kind of a thing. So. This this is a real Sunday. Irish feast. It is. This is, is. this is what they would have typically. The smell and the uh, aroma. I just wish our yeah. viewers could smell it because it's oh, yeah. absolutely it's gorgeous. And with our mint au jus, um, absolutely perfect. And as you can see, I, I put some of the lamb roasted, some lamb bones. There's lots of lamb bones into the, into the sauce there as well. And uh, it doesn't always have to be Irish stew on, on St. Paddy's no. Day. Because I think as long as uh, there's lamb there in some way or form. And, it's always nice, yeah. Lamb and if you get local right. lamb as well, that's that's the, that's key, the key ingredient. Yeah. Well, it's got that it's fed on something different, you know. It that's is. It's on like that salt, salt, salt grass, grass and, and, and all that kind of a thing. So I never get to enjoy St. Patrick's Day. You know, it's a, it's always I'm always somewhere else. I'm always away from family and friends, so I don't get to uh, partake in any of the festivities. No, no. Because no. you have to kind of have to be half sensible. It's a big day for us, so it's. Uh, a big day of the year for you. We'll take care of that today, Con. Don't oh, you worry. Okay, thank you very <laughs> much, Con. We'll have a good time today. No, Don't you worry. I, I'm up, I'm We're not going to ask you to sing. Oh, okay. Yet. <laughs> I can. I, I mean, I, I'm. I'm not shy about that, but. Uh, I was going to say, you know, we're heading towards Easter, and this this is actually what most families in Ireland have at Easter mm -hmm. for their for their Easter meal is is uh, roast leg of lamb, which is uh, pretty hard to beat, actually, isn't it? It is, yeah. Who does the food at the dinner theatre now, down at Babel's? Uh, we have an excellent chef, uh, Maurice Boudreau is his name, mm -hmm. and uh, he's come on with the boys in the last couple of years. He runs two big kitchens up there, and uh, he's he just does a wonderful a job, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Marvellous job. Wonderful you, job. You go, and, you know, for dinner theatre, half of it is the food. Yeah, oh if, yeah. If you go yeah. away having a bad experience, and yeah. uh, you know, he's done yeah. some wonderful things. He's taken my recipe for fish stew. He loved me here. Yeah. <laughs> And he's he's done his his own variation on it, and, yeah. uh, with you know regular salmon and a pork dish, but it leaves know. it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. No, it's it's well, nice it's nice to be able to do it, and people come and enjoy it. I meal. guess people come, you know, the tourists especially want to have uh, Newfoundland style cuisine like the codfish. That's and right, and and it's uh, once the the locals have been embraced this show because they're in it. Mm. You know, the show's about local that's things, right. and yeah. uh, you know, you show pictures of them, and, and they're yeah. coming out and enjoying the food mm. and enjoying the experience. So cool. Well, uh, <clears throat> I think it's time I picked out some wine to go with this lamb. No green, uh, wine. no green wine. No green wine. No green wine, but uh, I think uh, I think a nice red probably would suit this. I'll, <laughs> see, I'll see in a sec. Okay, perfect. So, so Connie was telling me that uh, you, you do a lot of smoking. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Carl. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. We have Con O'Brien upstairs, the quintessential Irishman. Excellent. And we've done a fantastic Irish meal. Roast leg of lamb with rosemary and potatoes. What could be more Irish? Mm, you know what lamb calls for. Red. Red. Yes, sir. Big, full-bodied, yes. well-structured, tannic exactly. red lines. So mm. what do you have? Let's start with something from the, the New World, something from California. 
This is a Zinfandel by a Dancing Bull. Uh, this is 2006. It has a nice tannic structure. It should help cut the fat of the lamb. Mm. Is Zinfandel the name of the grape? It is, sir. Zinfandel. A lot of people think it's the same grape as Primitivo from southern Italy in Apulia. They've so, how much would a bottle of uh, Dancing Bulls and This is a $15 bottle at the okay, NLC. That's, that's pretty decent. Yep. Very well priced. Okay. Excellent deal. <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Ooh, I have two options now, both from Australia. And uh, these I picked for a reason. I really, I, uh, I've heard you're using some mint with the lamb today. And both of these wines have a little mint in the flavor profile. Oh, that's interesting. Beautiful mint. Uh, one is a uh, McLaren Vale Shiraz. We're known, this region McLaren Vale is known for doing great Australian Shiraz. And the other was a Kunawera Cab. Both of these are by uh, Angoves. Both yep. of these are $25. It's a famous wine name, Angoves. Definitely. Yep. We've okay. actually had the winemaker uh, come uh, meet us here in St. John's. Mm -hmm. So uh, 15 saved the to best 25. for last again. Yep. Uh, I know we've talked about Mark Koff in the past. There's a uh, local Newfoundlander who is a uh, sommelier in Toronto. And this is one of his wines. Uh, I've told you before how Mark deals in all wines that are organic, biodynamic, and sustainable. And this is one of oh, beautiful wines from Mark's collection. This is a Dietz del Terra from Priorat. It is a blend of Grenache and Carignan. What? Car Carignan, a French grape variety. Cal Carignan? Maybe, sir. My Carignan. French is uh, Carignan. <laughs> not okay. the best. Carignan. Uh, this actually has just gone on sale at the NLC very recently. Uh, it was coming out of the gates at about $120, and it's now priced under $80. Did you say it was biodynamic? Biodynamic. I believe this is organic, but Mark's uh, portfolio was made up of wines that are organic and biodynamic and sustainable. Biodynamic mm -hmm. is almost like witchcraft or voodoo in the wine world. Everything is based on the moon and the stars. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, How much do you like Khan? Tough choice. Uh, I, I think Khan is great. Well, and I think you Khan know deserves what? I think top Khan, shelf. I think he does. Okay, so we'll try this uh, blend of... Uh, what was it? It's Grenache and Carignan. Grenache Carignan. and Carignan. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you very, very Happy much. Happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, you too, Andrew. Save me a green beer, please. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, Connor, as you can see, we've nicely roasted that leg of lamb. It's beautiful, medium, medium rare. And as you can see, I, I carved it across the grain, so when we're eating it, we're carving with the grain, so it's going to be really nice and tender. Ooh. Hi, Carl, you brought the it wine. Looks beautiful. <laughs> it does indeed, this doesn't is it? a real. <laughs> Irish feast. It is there we and go. We've got a real Irish wine for you here. This is a blend of <laughs> Grenache <laughs> and Carignan. Oh, very good. Very How's good. that for an Irish wine? <laughs> so it's like we're getting Cape Royal all the time. Yeah. There we go. There Thank we you, go. Carol. Beautiful. So, Con, uh, this is this is going to be a great send off for you. Now, I'm glad we had an opportunity to do this because there's no pressure on you today. It's all relaxed. You don't have to sing or anything. Uh, but you are going to be very busy on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, indeed. Yeah, it's always a busy time for us. We're yeah. going to, You're going to be uh, singing on a bass, aren't you? We're going to CFP Borden for St. Patrick's evening, but we're playing the, uh, an Ir the All Ireland Luncheon, which is a big deal in Toronto uh, at lunchtime that day. So That is a, a very a big, big deal. Yeah, big Fantastic. Deal. That sounds very prestigious. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we want you to taste this lamb now. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. done and see what you Sorry, think of Steve. it. That's okay, yeah. Oh boy, it all looks great. It looks very tender as well. Looking uh, sprouts and potatoes here. But tuck into that lamb and let ah. us know what you think of it. Oh. Lamb from Maury's. <laughs> oh, Howard Maury. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Lovely we man. thank him very much. Oh. The mint and the gravy. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. It really comes through. Makes a big difference. Con, thanks very much for being with us. Folks, if you want uh, this recipe, or a recipe for uh, grilled salt cod that Khan's going to give us. Go to the Central Dairies website, centraldairies.com. Click on the One Chef, One Critic page. Perfect. Thanks, Khan. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers again. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm. For more of Chef Steve Watson's recipes, our recommended wine lists, and guest recipes, log on to centraldairies.com. Have a recipe that you want to share with us? Send it along to onechef.onecritic at rci.rogers.com. Be sure to attach your name, address, and contact number, and you and a guest could be eligible to win a dinner for two at one of our city's finest restaurants. Let us know what you think of the show at 757-9600. When cleaning and preparing fish, wash your hands with lemon juice and salt to remove the odor. I think I'll try that on garlic fingers.
Steve, after that beautiful succulent leg of lamb, I didn't think I was going to have room left for dessert, but it's St. Patrick's Day. I don't know what's <laughs> happening to me, but I'm still hungry for this cheesecake. I've got a beautiful New York style cheesecake here with some baked apple sauce on top that was uh, put up right here at the Riverside. And I've got this an amazing locally picked partridge berry crumble. Mmm. Mm. Again, very local, very delicious. And we're going to take you now for more sweetness as we go to the Coleman's Bakery at Coleman's Supermarket in Mount Pearl, and uh, I'm going to learn how to decorate a cake for St. Patty's Day. Watch. Well, Carl, we're finally going to get you to put you to work and do a little bit of cake decorating today. And I'm excited because I've never decorated a cake before. Not that hard. Good. You'll be able to do it. Glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here today at the Coleman's Bakery in Mount Pearl and uh, we're with the chief, chief decorator, Nita Kane. And give us some tips that Carl can help with, you know. Well, you just have to practice a lot. That's the That's main the thing, practice, and you got to have a knack. Okay. And some of the tools, what, what are we going to be using today? Well, we're going to use a pallet knife and the piping bags. What's the, uh, um, what's that for? That's the gel, you write on the cake with that. Oh, you use the gel, okay. Yeah. Yep. The gel is shiny and it looks nicer. Good. It's prettier it's green. color. Darker, That's good. You get a darker color with yep. the gel. And the green, the green color in office and Patrick's Day, of oh, course. Yeah. So, so now we've got it. So uh, maybe we should start and get Carl to do a little bit of decorating now and okay. spreading the cream and everything. Use your piping bag. You squeeze the center of the bag. It just makes it easier to handle. Yeah. Okay. And you go across like this and down. All the way over until it's totally filled. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Covering the whole top and the sides. So how many years have you been doing this then, Nita? It's almost eight years now. And were you trained here at Coleman's? Trained on the job. Trained on I the job, perfect. <laughs> that might be enough on top. Put some on the sides now. Do you want to smooth now? Just uh, smooth. put your knife like uh, this. Go across I'll this you way. Want me to smooth. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Not too hard. That's it. All right, you're getting there. I think I do have a little bit too much icing on the top there, though. That don't matter when it spreads out because you got a little yeah. bit on the edges that need a little extra. So you know, it's kind of like that that plastering. Out. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be good at plastering, Nita. <laughs> you kind of need to like not go against yourself. Not go against myself? Yeah. That's what I try to do all the time. <laughs> it doesn't work, though. Hold your arms straight up like this and turn your palette knife a little bit. It just spreads it a little easier. Okay. That's it, just a little. And then in the end, you just kind of pull it right across and make it even. Okay. Now turn your cake. Turn my cake? Yeah, keep turning your cake instead of trying to turn your body. That's it, pull it in. There we go. Ah, you're getting there. Now we're gonna trim the cake. Okay, go like this, and up oh. and down, and up and down. Da, 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 oh, da, 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 now that's not da, da, bad for a first try. No, it's that's not. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> now we're going to write on the cake. We're going to write Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And then we're going to try and draw a little shamrock. Yeah, so how did you hold that? Just how? like this. There's no spell check on there, Carol. We'll be quiet. Well, Nita, your cake may look a little better, but I bet mine tastes better. Is that well, all in the decorating, Carol? <laughs> well, give him the benefit of the doubt. It's, it's a beautiful cake, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he did a good job. I'm thank, impressed. Thank you, Nita. First cake Happy like St. that. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's, Happy Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm done. This was a fabulous show today. We've had so much fun with Con O'Brien today here at the Riverside on the Southern Shore, for goodness sake, for our St. Patrick's Day episode. And you got to decorate a cake? I did indeed, yes, and I didn't do a half bad job, Stephen. You, even you have to admit that. And folks, we hope you've enjoyed our St. Patrick's Day edition of... One Chef. One Critic. Of them chefs. Oh, <laughs> I was writing bay instead of day. I don't know what I was... Oh I can't spell day anymore. See, I told you about the spill check. It's Happy St. Patrick's Bay. Is there a St. Patrick's Bay? There is now. Maybe we can send it to them. <laughs>